Welcome to Real Time Signals Technologies. In this video, we are going to look at basic access and usage of the NumPy package in a Python development environment. Okay, so we are going to start here in the Anaconda Navigator, and I'll mention that if you require the use of the most powerful and popular Python data science tools, it is highly recommended that you download and install a data science platform such as Anaconda, for example. That includes and automatically manages your Python environment and any necessary Python data science packages. Anaconda is open source and it ships with all the popular requisite libraries and packages that enable you to quickly and seamlessly get underway with scientific computation and data analysis in a Python development environment. NumPy is one such package as it is the foundation up which all other higher data science based tools for python are based now anaconda ships with the spider interactive development environment or ide in which you may write and execute python code and scripts and it includes many handy features that assist you in writing your code and carrying out any required data analysis we access the spider IDE via the Anaconda Navigator here by clicking launch. And now here within the spider IDE, we may use either the regular Python console or the interactive Python console to access and work with NumPy. Now for this video, we are going to use an IPython console. So let's open a new IPython console window, consoles, open IPython console. And here in the IPython console window, if you want to confirm that we indeed have the NumPy package already installed and ready for use. We may attempt to obtain the entire help documentation on NumPy by typing and entering the following. So we are using Python's help facility to get more information on the NumPy package. We will hit enter. And if we scroll up through this output, you will see that we are presented with a lot of information regarding the use of NumPy in the Python environment. However, this output is not very convenient for quick reference. And if you can see, it's actually even clipped. We can't go to the top here in the console window. But we can query the Python help with more specific information like for example a particular NumPy method. And one of the most commonly used methods is the built-in array method that is used to create new NumPy arrays. So to obtain this help information, you simply type and enter the following. So we enter numpy.array as a string and we hit enter. And here in the output to the top of this output, we are presented with the synopsis and usage examples of the numpy.array method. Alright, so before we wrap up this video, let's just create a simple NumPy array to demonstrate usage. So first, we need to import the NumPy package into an object that we can subsequently use to refer to NumPy in our current workspace. So to do this, we type and execute an import statement and with this, we can now use NumPy functionality in our environment by calling methods on this object named myNP. So for example, to create a NumPy array, we simply call the array method on this object and pass in the list of numbers that we want to be included as values in the array. So I'm going to store this new NumPy array in this object named uh, array1 and I'm calling the array method on our NumPy object. Then we are going to pass in a list of integers. And then if I type the name of the array again and hit enter to get the array contents printed out on screen, there you can see that our array has indeed been created. Now we may also obtain the data type of the elements in this new array by using the D type attribute. And here we see that this array contains 64 bit integer elements. Okay, so that's it. In this video, we have looked at basic access and usage of the NumPy package in a Python development environment. Thank you.